Holy shnikes. <laughs> Welcome to Shopsick Travel. I'm Luke Martin, and today we have another episode from Athens, Greece. This is day two of our series here, and in this episode, we're going to be exploring the food culture here in Athens, taking you to some of our old favorites and some new places that we've never tried before. Later on, we're gonna be visiting the number one attraction here in Athens, the famous Acropoli. It's gonna be a great day, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go get some Greek food. First stop for breakfast today is for the famous Greek pastry known as bugatsa. The way that he makes it is he starts with a filo dough that he thins out literally so thin and massive into the size of almost a bed sheet. And then you can get it with a couple different uh, fillings. We're gonna get cream and cheese, and this place is super cool. You can watch him making it right here. So let's order up a couple different kinds of bugatsa. Our breakfast spread has arrived. Let me just show you everything we got before we dig in. This is the bugatsa with cheese and honey so a sweet and savory dish over here we have the bugatsa with cream and it is topped with icing sugar and cinnamon as well and then of course the freddo espresso which is topped with cream it's going to be a nice and strong coffee my mouth is watering let's dig into this let's try the one with cheese and honey first oh yeah <laughs> so it's a lot more cheesy than it is sweet and that cheese is really soft and almost creamy inside of there the honey is just very light on the top and the phyllo dough is a little bit crispy but really layered so it's a big bite that's amazing okay my turn to try I'm gonna try the uh, cream filled bugatsa with the cinnamon and the sugar on top mm. oh yum that cream is just so soft and smooth on the inside. Mm. I love it with the cinnamon. This is the Freddo Espresso, which is a very traditional drink here in Greece. Now it starts off as a normal espresso drink, has a little bit more water in there than usual, and then it's shaken up with ice so that you have a nice cold cup of coffee. And then it's topped with this cream. So let's give it a try. I think it's gonna be good. Mm. Wow, that's really sweet. And then the cream on top is really thick and cold. And a lot of the sweetness comes from there as well. It's not like a typical cup of coffee in the morning. It's more like a dessert. And I think it's gonna match up with the uh, savory bugatsa really well. So that wasn't quite enough for breakfast. We're gonna head to get a famous gyro. We are just in the Monastiraki Square and there's a really famous place that's right off the square. Let's go get it. We have the famous Greek gyro. This thing is a beast. It is packed full of all different things. So we've got uh, chicken. We ordered chicken. It's sliced chicken off the spit. And we've got the uh, tzatziki sauce on the bottom, some onions, some parsley, some tomatoes, and then some French fries in there too. And it's all wrapped up beautifully in this pita bread. I gotta go in for a bite of some of that meat and some of that tzatziki. <laughs> yeah. This is not a pretty thing to eat, mm, but it is good. This is a super hearty street food, and this place that we got it from may not be the best in all of Athens. I would guess it's not. It does taste quite salty. I don't know if it's a tzatziki or the meat itself, but it is seriously juicy meat, and you get some freshness from those cucumbers and that tzatziki. <laughs> yeah, this is messy, but so damn good. 
This is what happens when you are eating some really messy food. Pigeons all over the place. Yeah, definitely not the best gyro right in the Monastiraki Square. It's a little overpriced, I think, and a little too salty, but still really good and super filling. We only had one to share, and then those bugatsa, and we yeah. were stuffed. Yeah. So we're gonna head to the National Garden? Yes. Gardens, yeah. We are at the National Gardens here in central Athens, and it's a big, beautiful park free entry, absolutely gorgeous right now, uh, nice shade from the afternoon sun. And we're just looking around, exploring different parts of this park, just a couple different monuments, there's um, some statues, and a lot of the plants here are labeled, so you can kind of look around and see what kind of plants there are. Yeah, it's really quiet out here, really nice place to escape the heat, I definitely recommend it. So this is definitely not Athens uh, top attraction by any means but you can come here, go for a walk, digest your breakfast, and the parliament building is close by here, so we're gonna go take a quick peek at that before we head to get lunch. So this is the parliament building, kind of famous for the National Guards that stand out front with their interesting outfits on. I can't believe they have to stand there in the heat. It is really blazing hot with the sun here in Athens. So we're having some seafood for lunch. We ordered up octopus and mussels. Just having a beer now. The beer is so cold and refreshing. And we're in this really cool little alleyway that's just on the edge of the central market. Now we're not gonna cover the central market in this video because we're gonna do a full video on a lot of the restaurants that are inside the market and around the market. But we gotta have some seafood for lunch today. I'm really craving the octopus especially. Oh man, I already know this is gonna be good because he literally just walked right into the market just 30 seconds down there, bought the octopus, bought the mussels, all fresh, all local, and he brought them back to the shop and he's gonna cook them up. So the mussels have arrived. These were barbecued and just served on this massive metal tray. I love how they serve it like that. Very simple, just fresh. And I'm gonna grab one with a little bit of lemon, of course. Sprinkle a little bit of lemon on top of there. And I love just the process of this all. It literally took him maybe five minutes in total to get the seafood still live, fresh from the market, on the grill, onto the table. It doesn't get fresher than that. Oh wow. That is awesome. Oh, I love it with the lemon. It just tastes a hint of seafood. It's got a nice firm texture. Wow, this is an awesome experience. Here is a massive, juicy one. And I'm going to sprinkle some lemon juice. <laughs> These are incredible, guys. Look at the size of that. <laughs> that one's huge. That is so big. Next up is the barbecued octopus. We've got two tentacles. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon on top and just look at all of that olive oil in the bottom. Go for a little cross section here. And look at, you can see all those little charred uh, suction cups there. Get a little bit of that olive oil. Oh man, this is my kind of food. Mm. It's firm. It's very bouncy. And it's got that citrus lemon. Oh man, so fresh. Mm. <laughs> this is the kind of atmosphere I am about. I can see the outside, I can see the inside of the market, and I'm just sitting here at a restaurant that has literally three tables. And you know what the old saying is, if you came and didn't eat seafood, what are you doing here? Did they say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but they should start saying it, because it's really incredible. 
See you next time. I know it's only day two, but that definitely wins the award for the best find yes. of the trip so far. Damn, that octopus oh was amazing. Oh my god, I can't stop thinking about it. I just had it, it was yeah. so good. We specifically only had a little bit there because we want to go to another place that's nearby. So yep. let's go get some charcuterie. So this shop is called Miran, and I think it's safe to say this wins the uh, title of the coolest looking shop in all of Athens because the ceiling, everything is hanging with these big pieces of pasturma, there's garlic, there's chili, there's all kinds of meat, and you can get uh, charcuterie plates here, which we did. This is such a cool shop. Lovely. Just look at this beauty, there is so much going on here. Let me try to uh, introduce everything to you. I should have asked, but I'm pretty sure I've got a good idea. We've got a uh, pasturma here, which is like the very typical Greek um, cured meat. This is the uh, type of salami. We've got a type of ham here. Back here, we've got graviera cheese, which is a little harder of a cheese. Another type of salami. This, I believe, is turkey. And then we've got a salad in the middle with some cheese. Another type of cheese here. But I gotta try with the pasturma first. So this is beef cured with lots of spices on the outside. Oh, and I forgot to introduce, of course, we've got a little glass of wine. Let me try this. Oh man, that's just such a hit of flavor. That crust on the outside, and it's got a really nice texture, similar to like a prosciutto. Mm. So I'm gonna try the salad out next. It looks like there's quite a bit of parsley. I think it's only parsley and tomatoes and then cheese, probably some olive oil. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. And there's a little bit of dill in it as well. Let's try the graviera cheese next. Oh, it's really hard. I can barely get my fork into it. Mm. It's actually pretty mild. And this is all going so well with this white wine here. I'm gonna make up a little sandwich of my own here with some of this cured ham that's been crusted with, I think like salt and pepper. Definitely pepper. And oh, that looks amazing. Let's get a spice. It's gonna be crunchy. Mm. I get it. Awesome. <laughs> Definitely the coolest looking shop in Athens and a great place to sample some charcuterie. Really particularly love that pasturma and the graviera are really good. So we're gonna head to the famous Acropoli now. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's go. Let's go. So the Acropolis is the number one site in Athens. It's towering over the city on top of this mountain. And do note, if you walk here, you have to climb that mountain, as we just did. And in the middle of July, in Athens, it gets pretty hot. Wow, it is beautiful up here. All the buildings made of marble. This thing is millenniums old. Do you say that? Millenniums? Sure. You can see the ocean. You can see the entire city. Oh, I should say the Mediterranean Sea, not the ocean. But unfortunately, it's actually scaffolded right now, this side of it at least. So we're gonna walk around and see the other side. Holy shnikes. It is really hot. We're used to really humid heat. Now it's like extremely dry heat. And after we ate all those cured meats and the wine, I really suggest, <laughs> this probably goes without saying, but I really suggest bringing a bottle of water up here. To be fair, to be fair, what? we were gonna buy a bottle of water from the vending machines and there was like 12 that were out Yeah, of that's true, we were gonna get one. But anyway, bring your own next time and uh, Enjoy. If you don't see this vlog, then we died. Exactly. We are here at the top of the Acropolis. We have the beautiful Athens behind us, the entire city. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. You can see just everything. It's amazing. So 
as a tip, we bought the combined ticket for all these famous archaeological sites here in Greece. It costs 30 euros per person for an adult, uh, and it gives you access for five days to all these famous archaeological sites. I think it's like five different ones. Anyway, I think it's really worth the money. Since we are on the brink of dehydration, I think we're going to leave the Acropoli. Yeah. It is really hot and dry here in Athens. We only spent about 30 minutes there. I'd actually recommend the Agora over the Acropoli yeah. if you only have time to do one. Mm -hmm. The temple down there was a little bit more impressive than the Acropoli. However, the views up here mm -hmm. are incredible. Yep. That's going to be it for today, day two here in Athens. It was another incredible day of Greek food. What do you think the best thing we ate today was, Sabrina? Hands down, the mussels. Those are my oh, favorite, yeah. for sure. I'd have to say the octopus, but mm. to be honest, that bugatza this morning was so good, too. Yeah, that's true. Greek food is just blowing our minds already. Make sure if you haven't, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post our next video from Greece. And also, if you'd like to become a Patreon, you can hit the link down in the description box. We give you access to our monthly blooper reels, as well as our personally curated food maps where we map out all of the places we're visiting here in Greece and many more cities across the world for you to easily find on your travels. We'll see you on the next episode of Chopstick Travel soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.